seen, but take a um, topical question in a way from Brian Hall, please, relating to what happened last week. Does the emergence of UKIP at the Eastleigh by-election represent a danger to the Tories at the next election? The UKIP coming second and the Tories coming third at Eastleigh, is this a, a danger to the Tories? And I suppose implicitly, what should they do about it? Um, there in the second UKIP are, are a really poor excuse for a political party. All they do is focus on the vulnerable people in society and scaremonger them into getting their votes instead of the main three parties. And I think they are, they're disgusting. <laughs> We've had uh, comments you made. You prey on vulnerable people in society who feel that they're, they're going to be attacked by immigrants coming into our country when there's a lot of positives that immigrants bring to our country and you just prey on the vulnerable. Well, uh, let me first of all just go back to our policy on taxation. First of all, no, we're... Please answer her question. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get there. Do it the other way around and okay. come to the tax. Okay, I don't think we are in any... We have got a very, very good policy to encourage young people into work. We also have, have been the only party to identify what is undermining our economy at the moment and what is undermining the employment prospects for young people. What you say is rubbish, though. How are four million... Bulgarians going to come to our country when they've only got a population of seven million people. We That's didn't, absurd. We, excuse That's me, we didn't absurd. Actually, we didn't actually say that. You if, did. I read your party would, literature in The way that it was, <clears throat> the way that figure came about was a survey conducted in Bulgaria by the Bulgarian government. They identified that 56% of the respondents indicated they would like to leave so the country. So why would you use such unbalanced data in your publication well, then? I when all it does is scare people into voting for you because they think they don't want migrants in We the didn't use unbalanced data. You we used did. government data produced by the Bulgarian government. If you're right. then casting assertions about the quality of Bulgarian data, I can't comment on that. We merely cited what was in the public domain and we used that in a correct and accurate fashion. But, but, you see, but uh, it's an issue of whether you thought they were all going to come or whether just a large percentage of Bulgarians would rather rather be living here than in Bulgaria. Well, as I, Slightly different question. As I just exactly. said, you know, the clear you, message David. from the, the survey conducted there was that 56% and 56% of the figures... Okay. No, 56... Your implication was they were all going to come. Well, I don't think that was the implication <laughs> we left away. We, let, we, made, we drew the conclusion, and it was from the, Bulga from the Bulgarian government data, that that proportion of the population wanted to leave that country. And in terms of the proportion of residents that have already left that country, a significant proportion are in Germany and a significant proportion are in UK. So the, and we happen to be, in terms of our benefit system and our entitlement uh, system, the most attractive destination in Europe. And just remember, if you're a Bulgarian or a Romanian at the moment, you might be on a basic weekly wage of a couple of hundred pounds. You will come here and you will double that just in terms of your benefits entitlement. Right. So a very, very strong case for saying mm. that the controls are needed. I completely agree with the lady at the back there in that um, UKIP are just picking up. Everyone, like you say, is disenchanted mm. with you politicians and yeah. the fact that, I mean, none of us believe really that you're connected with society. Mm. I think that needs to be addressed. Mm. But I think that scaremongering, there are a lot of scared people out there and it's, it's going to be a dangerous time come the next election because parties like UKIP who do say some outrageous things, um, they're going to capitalise on it and it's very worrying. Melanie Phillips. Well, in answer to the question, um, UKIP are a danger to the Tories because of the danger that they will split the Tory vote. But, you know, Mr Cameron uh, has made a tremendous rod for his own back uh, because he scorned UKIP as a party of, what was it, closet racists, loonies and fruitcakes. Rather like we've been hearing from some members of the audience this evening. And the problem is that since very, very large numbers of people who always used to vote Conservative have the same kind of views about immigration, about the EU, about human rights, about traditional values of one kind or another, Mr Cameron basically insulted his own core vote. He insulted the vast majority of Conservatives. And as a result, Conservatives have felt for years, true Conservatives have felt for years, first of all, totally disenfranchised because their so-called Conservative Party had actually decided it had to become left-wing in order to gain power. And not only did, it become, did they become disenfranchised, but they became subjected to the kind of insults that we've heard from members of the audience in which people who have a perfectly reasonable point of view
that while immigrants are going to add to the greatly to the value of the nation, there is there has got to be a limit. You cannot have everyone coming in. That there are genuinely profound reasons why British people might want to con re retain democratic control over their government rather than cede it to the EU. These are legitimate points of view. You may disagree. You are welcome to disagree. But to call people scaremongering, racists, disgusting, this is why... It is this... It is this vilification of the point of view of ordinary decent people in their millions which is what Mr Cameron has managed to achieve. He's managed to tell his core constituency, I don't want you on board because I think you are disgusting, you backwoodsmen, you conservatives. I'm going to right. turn this into not the Conservative Party. And look where it's got him and it serves him right. Thank you very much.